Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing out there this morning? Good, I hope. I hope you have a great morning. I hope you have a great day. Let's get crack a lacking. Suffering. Most of our suffering is caused by self. We cause most of our own suffering. We beat ourselves at every turn. We love to suffer. Now, most of it is because of the programming we received growing up through. We're told if this happens, you got to be ashamed of yourself. If you do that, you have got to feel guilty. If this happens, you got to be angry. You can't forgive people. And uh, we, just, we just suffer all the time. We have these thoughts, and then we, we beat ourselves with a whip of guilt or shame or remorse or resentment or any of that kind of self-defeating negative crap. We don't treat ourselves with love. We don't treat ourselves with forgiveness. We treat ourselves with suffering. Does that make any sense to you? Doesn't make much sense to me. But until you know better, you're going to keep right on to doing it. You have the power to change that. You have the power to change your mind to a forgiving mind, to a loving mind, to a caring mind, to love yourself, to care for yourself, to forgive yourself, to let go of the suffering, to stop the doggone suffering. We label ourselves. Well, I'm overweight. I'm fat. I'm too skinny. I'm too tall. I'm too short. I don't look right. My hair isn't right. My house isn't big enough. I don't have enough money. My car isn't right. And we beat ourselves because we don't feel right because of all that crap that is just crap. It's just a thought. It's not even real. It's just imagined bull crap. You have the power to step into the light of truth and let go of all of that crap. Let go of all of that suffering and start really just being happy and enjoying life and uh, loving yourself and forgiving yourself and others. When you can truly love yourself and truly forgive yourself, then you can do that with other people. You can see the truth of other people too. Everybody's doing it out there. You don't know when you when you see somebody walking down the street or you see somebody at work with a head down, you don't know what kind of suffering they're doing, self-inflicted suffering. You don't know, you know, what kind of stuff they're beating themselves with and Oh, you know, I didn't make enough money this week, and you know how it goes. That's just self-inflicted stuff. It's not real. What's real is you are life, and you are. You don't have to suffer. You're worthy just the way you are. You don't have to be anything different. You don't have to act a certain way, be a certain way. You are life. This meat suit you're carrying around is just that. It's a meat suit so that you can experience this thing called life, so that you can touch, feel, taste, have sense, sensory experience. Now you have to have this body to do it, and you have to have this brain to do it. This brain helps guide you through this world and this mind, but none of that is you. And if you get to the real you, the energy that's you, you're just energy, you're that spiritual energy, and you and you get into that, to the truth, then you realize you don't have to suffer anymore. You're just here for a short time. This meat suit is just your vehicle to get around. And if you start treating it better, you treat it right, and you take care of it right, and you treat your mind right, and you take care of it right, with that truth, with that spiritual light, you're not going to suffer anymore. So knock off your suffering already. You don't have to do it anymore. You don't have to feel guilty and shameful and beat yourself up. Love yourself. Step into the light of love and forgiveness for yourself, and your life will change, and you will be so much happier. You'll suffer. You won't suffer anymore. Now, does it take practice? Yeah. Something has been in your brain your whole life telling you that this is the rules. You know, I'm the boss. Your mind, I'm the boss. No, it's not. It's just your mind. Helps you navigate your way through here. It's been programmed. So you got to deprogram it. you got to step into the light of spirit and deprogram it. And when you do that, it takes practice and it's going to shatter some things. It's going to shatter some truths. And sometimes that's difficult to go through. But I'll tell you right now, it's worth every second of it. Just get through that. Get to the truth. You don't have to suffer anymore, especially at your own hand and your own thoughts. Shut them thoughts off. They're yours. You created them. You can just deconstruct them. You just start changing your thoughts to self-forgiveness and self-love and start loving yourself and man i'm telling you life is going to be so much better hey listen i hope this helped you out i hope you have a great day if you got something you want to hear me talk about on here by all means send me a message over